The starship unreliable narrator sat in the line to dock around the human Kalaxi starbase. It was the beginning of staff rotation, so there were a lot of ships coming and going as people of all kinds came and left the starbase. On board, in addition to their regular crew, was the Kalaxi archivist Tyrenian, who was transferring to the station. The narrator picked her up from Kalax when they were dropping off a load of chamomile tea to the planet. Its popularity was a recent fad among the Kalaxi, and humans scrambled to fill the need. As they sat in line waiting for their turn to dock, the narrator came over the speakers. Captain, I think I see the Timewinder. It looks like they just linked in system. Permission to say hello. At the captain's invitation, Tyrenian was on the bridge watching the landing. She heard the quotes over say hello and was curious what they meant. Before she could ask, the captain said, Permission granted. Brace for shock. Alarm klaxons sounded all over the ship and everyone braced themselves. The belts around Tyrenian's seat tightened, then backed off just a little so she could still breathe. There was a thunderous double boom as juke charges were fired and the ship spun 180 degrees in place vertically and they linked out of line, right where they were. Luckily, Tyrenian didn't suffer the major side effect of the human's wormhole generators. She didn't die and come back when they went through. So she was able to watch, horrified, at what she thought was happening. The moment they reappeared in space, they were directly over Timewinder. Tyrenian's large, sensitive ears twitched and pivoted at the sound of the weapon bay doors slamming open and the rhythmic thumps of a slug gun firing. After ten shots or so, they linked again, this time under the Timewinder. The rapid wormhole generations was disorientating, but the crew shrugged it off. They let off another volley of ten shots, but this time Timewinder was ready for them. Narrator's hull rang like a gong with the shells striking them. Tyrenian, being used to space travel, was waiting for the hull breach warning which would signal everyone suiting up, but it never came. The narrator seemingly shrugged the shots off, slamming the weapon bays shut and linking back to their place in line. The total time that had elapsed was less than five minutes. Once they were back in the line, everyone relaxed. The belts were loosened and the captain came over the intercom. Attention, everyone. We were able to score. He looked at a screen at his station. Eleven hits out of twenty. That's good, but we can do better. I want everyone on double drills until the end of the week. He turned off the intercom as everyone groaned. Captain, what happened? Was all Tyrenian could muster. She was shaking slightly in her seat and utterly confused. Her fur was completely puffed out and she looked twice as large as normal. Oh, Tyrenian, I forgot you were aboard, I apologize. We, uh, we're playing tag with Timewinder. They started it last year, and now whenever we see the other, it's a race to see who can score the most hits in a blitz attack. It's good practice, in addition to being fun. Fun? I heard the slug launchers fire, didn't you? She gestures towards the display screen. The captain looked horrified. Oh, no, 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 it's paint. We're shooting paint shells. We agreed that for the year that neither would wash the paint off, and at the end of the year the ship with the most hits scored get a banquet paid for by the other ship. While everyone was relaxing and calming down after the excitement, the Starbase came over the intercom. Unreliable narrator, this is Starbase. How many hits did you get? We only got 11 out of 20 that time. We were sloppy, narrator replied. Oh well, you still go the jump on them. I'm sure you'll do better next time. Your third in line, estimated time to docking is 20 minutes. Tyrenian could only sit back and sigh. This was going to be a long rotation, 